Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Design at Inspiration. I've got a big whacking smile on my face because, well, I'm going to have to get, what time's this coming up at? We've literally had this in the building for what, 24 hours? Black star diopside. And it's got the star chatoyant flash on it. Oh, you can sort of pick it up there. The light's in here. What a nightmare. I'm telling you, you are getting that stunning flash on this. <gasps> I cannot believe we've managed to actually get our hands on this. Have you ever seen Black Star Diopside? It is so exceptional. Fabulous. I've never, ever, ever seen it on this channel before. I know we've only had it in the building for about 24 hours. This is coming up for you really, really soon, but I'm already in my last chance saloon on it because they sold so many last night. People adored it. I've got a last chance saloon on this. Oh, let's have a little look at it in dark light, shall we? This is a different light source. You can see that flash, can't you? Can you see it coming across the surface then? That's that black star. Ooh. Look there. Can you see on the axis you've got the flat line and the wiggly line? That is so beautiful. This is coming up for you very, very soon. I cannot wait to bring that to you. As well as that sapphire, don't forget. Under 25 pound per strand on a trio. I don't mind if I do. So many goodies for you today. And I've got that shell. Now, I've got here for you 0.8 and 0.4 in your gold. This is 10 metres of each. You've also got the Golden Findings Pack. Now, this is for our second designer inspiration with the lovely Janet that we're going to be doing now. In this pack, you're going to be getting 115 pieces, but you're getting so many of those cute little extra details in there, like those little flower spaces that we get. Everything you're seeing on screen now is what you will be getting your hands on. Let me take these out. Let me get these out for you, because honestly, I absolutely adore them. 
they are the little, they're always, we describe them as flowers. I don't know if they would be described as that. I'm thinking more a um, Tudor neck ruff. Silence. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I can see, I can see where you're going. You can see where I'm going. Ish. Ish. That's what I like, Janet. <laughs> the support. <laughs> and would you describe these, Janet, and don't say flower? Um, yeah. Yes. I would say flower. Uh, well, yeah, flower, yeah. Um, rough, neck rough, flower. Oh, rough. I see. Stroke. Oh, now you're coming on to my <laughs> wavelength. Oh, so <coughs> Janet's laughing at me. I've just called it a, a collar rough, and now she's saying, yeah, actually, uh, I suppose it would be a bit of a rough. I'd, I'd call it a rough as well. Don't try and steal my ideas, Janet. Sorry. <laughs> I've got loads of goodies in here for you, including but not limited to those beautiful rough flowers. Um, <laughs> though, chain, you've also got in there the beautiful different selection of your extender cores with the S shape class as well. So, the price on this should be for 20 meters and 115 findings, £17.85. Today, for your design inspiration, bearing in mind we did the pink earlier. Now the pink had the silver coloured findings, didn't it? So we all know, of course, it's the gold on top, so we're going to be higher in price. So last time we did, it was the same gauges of wire, but it was the pink, wasn't it? And we did it at 11.95. However, with this, you've got the gold. So you've got the added bonus of the gold on top. You've got that added layer, that added luxury on top of this. So what are you thinking? A quid more than 11.95, two pounds more? How about a price match? £11.95 for you today. With price match, the silver and the pink that we had earlier on. Even though you've got that beautiful gold, which we all know is more luxurious. I was saying earlier, at this time of year, it goes up in popularity by around 30%. So even though we've got that, we've done a price match. It's designer inspiration. We can do that sort of thing for you. Cog C. 37 is your code on this today. It's a stunning little price and you've got such a great mixture in there. We're going to be seeing exactly how to use these in a little bit as well. You've also got as well for this, there's loads of you with it on your baskets. Loads and loads of you with it in your baskets. Do make sure you're checking those out as quickly as you possibly can huge shopping class on this as well and as I did earlier on I'm bringing to you now <laughs> oops the wire and the findings and I've got the gemstones now as well coming up for you in a moment I will bring those with me now when I head over to the lovely Janet this is the gemstone bundle I'm bringing you three strands I'm going to tell you instantly that it's solar quartz, obsidian, and rutile quartz. So you know already the area we're heading into. This is a high luxury. This is beautiful monochrome. We are going to be bringing you those. And what we've done again this time, we've separated the two. So you've got a price tag for everyone. 11.95 is the price for the wire and the findings. And you get shown how to create this stunning selection. What a beautiful collection of goodies you've got here. It all works so well. I can totally see this in, say, a bridal shop or some sort of high-end boutique store. This as a whole selection of design. What's your inspiration with this? Well, if, I, if I'm being totally honest, I saw a, a lady a while ago with a necklace on and, um, and asked sort of, you know, where she got the idea of. And apparently it was based on um, a design by Abby Hook. Mm -hmm. Um, so I sort of took that inspiration from that, that necklace um, and then sort of just built on that really um, and then turned it into sort of this little collection. It is a beautiful collection. It ties in so, so beautifully. And because it's that monochrome, it is quite statement without being totally overpowering, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Which is what's so wonderful about it. So we're going to be having a little look at how to create this piece today, aren't we? We are, yeah. So whereabouts do we start with this? Okay, what we um, what we need to do is make something to um, frame the um, the solar quartz. So I've used one of the larger solar quartz that I've got, and every single one of them is different. They're absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. 
And to do, um, to do that, what we're going to do is create this little shape. Now, I know um, Michelle did uh, a demo, um, did a pendant, and the shape of the actual backbone of it was the same as this, although this is created in a, in a different mm -hmm. way. So it just shows you another way of creating that shape. Yeah. So to do that, um, what I did is I took a long length, and I took longer than I needed. Um, so I probably took about a metre or just, just under. I'll just cut off a short length to show you how we did it for this. So there we go. So that's the point, the point eight. And then I just took the round nose pliers, go in a little way. So you've got um, about sort of three or four inches left over. Go to the um, sort of the base of the pliers, depending on how large you want your circles really to, to surround your gemstone. And turn it all the way around so you've got that yeah. shape. Go into it next, next to it. Do exactly the same again. So, so you're going way. along the top on these, so that is yeah. a definitely different design. Yeah. And it actually gives you a different look. Yes. Because when yeah. Michelle did it, they were slightly off. Because they were figure of eights, so I yes. think more than more than, more than the loop loop up and down, yeah. yeah. It's nice to learn different ways to do Dif different, different techniques. techniques. Yeah. yeah. So all I did was I just carried on and carried on and kept checking it against the gemstone so that I've got um, a section that's long enough to go all the way around. Okay. So I'd, I'd got this piece here. Mm -hmm. And then if we sort of straighten that out, so I did two of those and then what we're going to do, we're going to put them back to back and tie them together. Okay. So to do that, if we take the point four and find the end, take quite a long piece because we want to have... Um, we want to have some left over at the end as well, but for the purposes of the demo in how we do it, I'll try and go mad with it. There. So try and keep them as straight, straight as you can, and then all you need to do is match up the circles there. So match them, and if you've done them all the same sort of size, they should all fit, fit together. There. So if you hold that, again leave a little bit of a tail on it so that we've got um, a piece to use there. Wrap that round a couple of times, there. And then, what I did is I came up through the first loop. Once you've got the first one in place, it will actually hold firm there. So, so there's the first one. So you go in once and then do that again. So yeah. I go into each of the loops twice. And it's worth spending the time just to make sure that they're secure. You know, you want to get keep the tension on it a little bit there. So we go into the loop twice and then pull it round and go between the loops just once. And then just keep repeating that all the way along until you've attached that whole section together. So it's twice around inside the loop and then in between each loop. So you attach those together and then you end up with that that sort of backbone. Okay, so I see. And then what I did, um, keep the point four out of the way, because we're gonna use that. Separate the um, two sections of the point eight, and then just... Oh, hang on, I've just found some on the floor. It's two quid! <laughs> May as well have it off the price. Nine pounds ninety-five pence. <laughs> you scared me then. I thought I'd drop something. Did I? Did I scare oh, you then? What have I done? Was it my creepy bouncing up? <laughs> I thought what's going from on. this side of the desk, possibly. I like that though. Did you? Yeah. An extra two pounds off. Got so wait, hang on. Remind me what it was before. 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 Eleven? No, before that. Seventeen pounds and eighty-five pence, Scott. And now it's nine ninety. Is that right? Do you know what it is? Scott is singing Pete's birthday song, and it's just putting him in such a euphoric mood. He's just pressing buttons left, right, and centre. Hey, You're pretty much like. getting a tenner off today, aren't you? Nine ninety-five for you. Fab. It's fab, isn't it? Yep. Right, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> <laughs> you panicked me. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping out at you like a creepy kid. So what I did is I've just separated the two wires either side a little bit, and then what we're going to do is fold it over, 
and then bring the wires together so that they sort of weave together. If you can see that. Yeah, I see. There you go. So they go together. Then bring those together and hold them fairly tight. There. Take the point four that you've got left over at the end that we said to keep, which I remember to keep myself this time. <laughs> and then wrap that round a few times just to secure it. Don't let go at this point because it will spring back. So then just take your nail, hold your thumb in there and bend it round. Okay. And then do the same to the other side, there. So now that's not gonna go, go anywhere. No, it's staying still. It's still, still, still. Then we can just sort of shape that a little bit. Our gemstone's gonna be sitting in there. Now the beauty of this is it can be a little bit bigger than the actual stone that you're gonna use. Um, because it's going to capture it in there so you know don't worry if it's a little bit bigger than than you think you're going to need and then at this stage takes I, I use my nylon coated pliers but if you just take some pliers and just carefully bend them around there you go just kink out those that bottom section And then what you can do is press that down. Press that down. I love how that fans out. Actually, I could imagine that around like a um, cameo. Yes. Wouldn't it? That would look gorgeous well, around I've got cameo some stone um, cabochons that I bought from Jewelry Maker. Uh, an amethyst cabochon, would you believe? And it, was fa it looks fabulous around, around that. So it's a technique that you can use around anything, really. Yeah. So then you fan those out create a sort of rough yes. shape neck rough <laughs> shape yeah there so do that and just keep going until you've sort of got it as, as flat as um as you want it really mm -hmm. there you go so then the stone is going to sit within that section i there. see fab so what we did next was we need to tie on the back section so that the stone doesn't sort of fall out okay so what i did is i created this little shape there. It's almost a rose, actually, isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. But again, it's using the twisted, um, twisted wire, and to do that, we just did it similar to the 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 last inspiration. So just started off as a normal spiral. Mm -hmm. Normal spiral, it's sort of like that, and then just keep checking that against the the stone that you've got. So. Keep going. Do you think you've got that large enough? There we go. I say, yeah. Just a little bit bigger. There. And when you think that's sort of going to sit on there okay, take the um, pliers and make a little bit of a kink, a little bit of a bend in the top section there. To sort of mimic the shape of the stone? The shape of the stone. So that will then fit in the back of, of here and hold the stone, Fab. stone in place. Good look. So what we do then is cut off this bit that we've got left and that will go inside. There you go. So we just need to shape that up. Let's see if that sort of fits on the back. So that fits sort of perfectly on the back of there. Now what we're going to do is attach that to the frame. Okay. So to do that we just take another length of the point 0.4 but again, it's breaking um, the whole thing down into intersections um, and making it doable, really, for for everyone. Mm, I think. For everyone to get involved with. Hopefully. There we go. So, I'll go from that way. What we need to do is just wrap that around the section there a couple of times. Oops. Slip on the shape that we've just made. Then hold that in place. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that, she says. Hold it in place. Once you've, you've done a first couple of wraps, it all um, it's a fell off. It's always the first bit, though, isn't it? Always when you start the first it bit, off, that, yeah. You have to kind of get a bit of a basis yeah. to it for it to have purchase on, too, to get it going easier. So once you've done that, then what I did is just go between the um, 
the loops that you've got there. Yeah. Go between that one and the one that's next to it. And because it's closed a bit, you'll hear it pop through. Come back up through there, through the shape, move to the next one, through the um, circles, back up, and that's it. And then you just repeat that all the way around. Easy, mac peasy. Until, um, until the backing is actually in place until it where it, it needs to be yes now just whilst you're finishing off that wrapping thank you i will bring to you your gemstones now we've seen these they're quite uh prevalent really throughout all of your pieces aren't they these gorgeous solar cords beautiful i have to say that i said this to you before <coughs> solar quartz is something that initially i thought was very pretty but I thought there was something that I wanted more from it. I saw it the first time, I thought, I, there is definitely something that I appreciate about that, but for me, it's just missing something. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely missing something. And then, uh, Spellbinding Laura Binding gave me a piece of um, solar quartz that she had that she was um, making up as part of a demo. And um, I was rooting around in my back for it when I sat in the car looking for my keys or something. And I pulled out this piece of solar quartz and all of a sudden it just came alive. Uh, it, the light, the way the light cascades through around the edge of each of these, you get this rainbow like appearance. Genuinely, it's one of those gems that you have to get outside. You get almost an opalescent color play within each of them. You get reds, blues, yellows, greens, cascading all around the outside that intensify from the inside to the outside. Genuinely, it's almost like an internal glitter or rainbow. You need to get those outside to truly appreciate them. So on my strand, you'll be able to see that I've got five. Of course, it is done in carat weight. You're likely to get five, you might get six. This is 100 carats worth, you'll definitely be getting. And they're graduated from around 13 to 30 mil. This strand alone, if you went on our website now, is 15 pounds and 95 pence. That's with it price hashed down to that. That's taken into account the discounts we've had on it. Before, I'm sure it was 24 something. So that is price slashed, 15.95. You're also getting, to mix in with this beautifully, this really exceptional rutile quartz. I adore the difference within here. You've got some that hardly have any visible rutilation at all, and then you have some that are so intensely jet almost in appearance. The rutilation, that always tourmaline effects throughout internally, there are large shards within here, aren't there, Janet? They're gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And like you say, there's such a variation of, of um, inclusions in them, beautiful. It has got that really gorgeous monochrome appearance. It's kind of a little bit 20s, a little bit 40s feel to it, hasn't it? Really pretty. Quite Art Nouveau, quite Art Deco as well, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, it makes some great um, Art Deco pieces with it. 170 carats worth you have on here. And what I love with them is they are top drilled drops, but you'll see that they, they haven't got the point of the drop. So actually, if you wanted to incorporate these into that other design and you wanted to have these, you know, as we did earlier, sat proud, Yes, that'd yep. be wonderful, perfect wouldn't it? For that, Absolutely yep. perfect for that. And finally, one of the most luxurious gemstones in the world. It is your beautiful obsidian. If you're planning on getting that black star dioxide, you're going to want to get your hands on this as well because it's just going to work beautifully. 90 carats worth of these obsidian rice beads, <coughs> and they are lengthy, aren't they? 12 by 6 on each every one of these. This is a massive saving 26 pounds and 85 pence and please remember for me that that takes into account any discounts so we've got a discount on the moment for the um solar cores that's taking into account the discount that's not the original price it should have been closer to 35 at the original price of everything 26 pounds 85 pence but today 17 pounds and 95 pence for your designer inspiration kit today it's beautiful stunning get this home get it outside get it to come into life solar quartz your extraordinarily versatile rutile quartz and this oh so beautiful obsidian 17.95 for you today make sure you're checking out your biscuits what do you think of that price 
that's amazing price. Because when I put them together, I didn't I didn't really look at the pri prices or anything. So I, mm. you know, you just don't know, especially with Scott being here. You know, well, exactly, producer Scott, yeah. mischievous. That is a fabulous price, isn't it? Amazing, isn't it? Just fab. So I've let you wire wrap those. You've wrapped all okay, that. Okay, so we've, it now. we've wrapped all the way around, so that's mm. secure. Um, what I did is when I got to this side, um, I just caught the second loop of the spiral just to make sure that it's secure on here, mm -hmm. if you can see that. So I caught this second wrap here. Yeah. So that is secure now in there. And then we can actually put the stone in at this stage. No, actually what we'll do, we'll do the um, top first. Okay, so you're gonna create the bale the section. The bale first. So we've got um, quite a few pieces of the point four. So what I did is it, one from each side is gonna create the, um, the bale and the little loops at the, at the front. Now the other two, uh, at the back here. Uh, one on this side is coming from here. So because we overlap them, you've got one from either side. So I'm going to do something a bit sort of radical. I'm going to cut those off. So really, just snip in there. Cut it off. Wow. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come unravel because you've got one of these from either side okay. holding it together. And just make sure I snip the right one off before we... Um oh, it's like watching Mission Impossible. Oh. There no. There we go, and because it's all wrapped together, that's not going to go anywhere. So now we've got the two main pieces here that we can use for the bale. I see. Okie doke. So if I just wrap these little bits of point four that we've got here, if I wrap those around and snip them off, then we can snip off that little piece there. Now the piece that I use to wrap the, um, the spiral into, keep that because okay. we're going to use that to secure around the front section just to make sure that the stone's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Okie doke. So I'll snip off all the other little little sections that we've got. There. Now, what I did, took one of the um, one of the lengths of wire. There we go. And then just simply make a loop. Just as big as you want, I suppose. As big as you want. Um, what I did is I put a jump ring onto it then. Um, but you could make a bigger loop. Um, you, you could do whatever, really. Yeah. Uh, and you, if you did the loop the the other way, back to front, rather than side to side, you could just simply then thread that onto a cord Fresh or something. Wire or yeah, chain, yeah. Onto anything, really. Cool. So if we hold that sort of quite tight there, get my piece of wire out of the way. Just wrap that round a little bit so that it's not going to go anywhere. <coughs> there we go. And then we've got the piece at the back. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut that because we're just going to make a little spiral to cover this top section. Now this piece of wire that we've got here, let me just center that back up. There you go. We're going to wrap that around a little way. Just wrap it around a bit. Put it quite straight and then cut that off. And then what I did tip of the, pl the pliers, start off that spiral and then I use my um, nylon coated pliers just to that round but you can again as we did before use your fingers and then get that quite close in and push it back so that just creates a little bit of detail there That's pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. But also means it's not scratchy or irritating the skin. No. no. And then do exactly the same on on the reverse. So okay. you've got a nice finish on both on both sides. There we go. I'm rushing this, but if you just take your time just to make the spirals as neat neat as you can really. I see. There you go. So then push that one in there. So that's the back. And that oh, finished. Beautiful. Okey doke. And then what we do is bring the um, point 0.4 wire, bring it around and through one of the first loops that you've got there. So we've got that ready to start. Okay. And then drop that, drop your stone in. There you go. That's the great thing with this, isn't it? Because of that design you've got. You can just bend it all yeah. in. And but and then it, it is simply a matter of sort of bending that around. Always constantines in on itself, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got that in there. 
so it's there. And then what I did is I used the piece of 0.4 that we've got and then just went around and captured each of the, the loops as we go and pull it quite tight. I see. So we go into this next loop. If you struggle, just bend the wire up a little bit. So that should help for it to come out the other side. There we go. Try not to bend, bend your wire too much. And then what I did is held it on the floor. Not on the floor, on but the on, floor. on the on the side, <laughs> on the worktop. Does it have to be on the floor? Not particularly on the floor. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Hold it on the uh, work surface. surface. Mm, no. Yes, you know what I mean. There, and then just pull that really tight. And I did that all the way around just to ensure that that stone was secured in there and it wasn't going to go anywhere. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? Yeah. Walking down the street. And your stone pops out. Have you lost your solar cord? <gasps> That'd be That's a gorgeous detail to it, though, doesn't it? Well, it just um, it just adds that little bit of I think detail. That's actually a really pretty. Can you see a really pretty, intricate, delicate detail? But it, you know, it, it acts as a security it's just to as make well. sure. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'll let you carry on weaving that around. Okay, okay. When I bring you a present from Mr. Wagstaff. Wax bike home. Thank you for purchasing the wax bike home. This tool has a sharp point and <laughs> should be kept away from a joke. <laughs> I don't know, I thought for some reason before I'd read it then that it was going to be like, you know, a precision point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not sharp, sharp though, I have to say. Um, we, if you're not sure of how to use this, it's very, very simple. We have got a video of it. I wonder if it's anywhere around. But if not, it's not a problem. All you have to do is through that sharp point. Can you see the hole here? There's a hole. And all you do is you pop your wire through there. And I'm sh it definitely takes a one mil, but I'm pretty sure it takes up to a 1.5. And all you have to do is you kink it back. Using the um, handle itself, you just give it a quick swirl and it creates this gorgeous, precision, symmetrical cone shape, which is great if you want to hang a tassel, if you want to do, uh, I've seen quite a few people doing links at either side with beautiful big round gemstones, almost as a kind of beading cap, yep. a really elaborate beading cap that would be fab for. Have you used them before, Janet? I have. I think they're, they're wonderful. And like I say, I'm waiting for my um, other one as well. Your, long, your lengthy yeah. one, aren't you? But uh, they're great. And Kumahimo, finishing off Kumahimo as well. If you put um, one of those on the end of your Kumahimo, or like you say, to, to spend tassels from as well. Beautiful. I really like really doing useful. that. I think they look fab. The price today, you can see how easy it is to use. Just £7.95. So you can see we've linked it through. Now it's really important that you leave that loop at the top. Can you see the loop that's spinning around? It's really important you leave that bit and you'll see why in a moment. So you're keeping the wire, you don't have to put a lot of tension on it. You really do just move with it. The wonderful thing about this technique as well is because the wire is going through your fingers first, you're actually warming it, which means that it's really malleable and it just forms to the shape of the wire comb itself. You just move the handle around. Even if you've got dexterity problems, you're unlikely to have any issues with this. You truly, truly are. <coughs> so, as we're coming to the end of the cone, don't forget, you don't have to use the whole cone. You can just use a little bit of it. You can use the whole thing if you wish. All you have to do is you snip the wire off the reel. Again, it's great because you're not gonna be using excessive wire. You just use it off the reel. And that's why I said you need the loop. You're gonna snip that loop. And that means that by snipping that, you're not gonna get it caught, you're not accidentally gonna cut the wrong loop, you're not gonna be fighting with it. And then you just neaten it off at the top and at the bottom. 
and there you are easy peasy done and dusted and you can add spirals to that you can add loops to that it's 7.95 for you today your wags y cone give it a go i know a lot of you on the birthday show bought the really little one the really long one and we've had loads of messages in recently saying i want the standard one again please so you've got all these different sizes it's your chance to give it a go seven pounds 95 pence for you today so have you just finished with your whapping i have <coughs> Fab. so there we go that's the the pendant um sort of wrapped and ready to ready to go beautiful that way <coughs> and um that's the reverse so you've Lovely. got that spiral holding that in place you actually wear that both ways wouldn't you yeah yeah but that's really solid in there now um and then what i did then i suspended it from the choker style which is this now this is the point eight um twisted and then twisted again do you want me to show you how to do that? Yeah, go on. We've still got some of the twisters on. They'll probably come on screen in a moment or two. They'll be at the bottom of the screen. So this is the wire twister that we brought to you. How much was it? Was it seven, eight, eight, eight forty-five? It was. So. Um, so what I did is I twisted um, one section as we did earlier when mm -hmm. we when we when we demoed it of the point eight. Yeah. And then resecured it in, and then folded it back. You can feel it's really quite firm now as it is. Okay. So if we just pop that through there. So you fold it back through another hole. Back through. Um, and what we need to do is just secure that so that it's not gonna pop it's off. Yeah. Hopefully. I've run out of holes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. If I just wrap that around. Yeah, whilst you're wrapping, I've had something from Diane in the city of Bristol. I love Bristol. Wait, did I go on a boat in Bristol? Does that sound likely? Yeah. You could have. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I definitely did. Um, hi, Becky. Really enjoying watching this afternoon. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. That's really, really nice to hear. I just wondered, with the wire twister tool, is there a limit to the length of wire you can twist? Really good question. Well, with this one, there's five holes, so you can do five, five at a time. What about the length? Oh, length. Sorry, sorry, I didn't. No, um, no, it's all right. That's good no, to no, know. No, no, not at all. I mean, I, I sort of, I've got a workroom, and it's probably, um, I don't know, about sixteen foot. So I, I have actually done it almost to the length of that. Yeah. Well. It's just that uh, you have to be careful that you know if it sort of dips a bit, you've got to keep the tension there. Just keep the tension right. Yeah. As long as the tension's there, you'll be fine. So long as they're all the same length. <laughs> yeah. And so long as your tension point, yeah. in this case, me. <laughs> is in the right place it could work or it should be work fine, fine yeah shouldn't be a problem fab uh, so with this we we did the one twist with the point eight and now we've twisted it back so we've got two pieces so we're just going to do it again that's quite hard so just be careful i don't and then you just <laughs> doesn't that look spectacular keep twisting until you get to sort of what you what you want really and there you go and that's it doesn't that look wonderful I feel that the difference in that now that is so much sturdier and if I show you a before and after if that's okay so this is the single twist above you can see how different that is can't you using the same gauge of wire the twist in this hand is a before and this is the double twisted now only is there a difference in thickness but actually it looks much more um, intricate with the double twist, doesn't it? Because if you do one twist, you get a smooth, smooth twist. Yeah. But then when you twist on twist, you get sort of a completely different effect. And it's much sturdier again, it's isn't definitely, it? Definitely, yeah. It really is. So to create the choker um, necklace, that's what I did. Just Brilliant. the length of that, whatever length you want. Um, and the bit where you had your finger in, there, holding it, was the bit that I used as the... Um, the loop for the clasp so you don't have to worry about creating any loops or anything because it's already there so the loop is there that's what I attached it to and the other end is just simply hooked over so that's that ready and then to attach the necklace to that I just did um, another twist of wire and it's almost the same as the previous um, project we just did a bend in the middle and two of the spirals at either end and that is actually going to sit on there and sit like that how Ooh. beautiful and to attach it um, 
I found the point 0.4 to attach it the, to the chunky pieces. Um, I didn't think it was. I think it would have been strong enough, but it just didn't look right. It looked a bit sort of wishy washy. So okay. what I did is I twisted two lengths of point 0.4 together. I think that looks beautiful. It almost looks like fairy chain. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. So that is what I use then to wrap that to the um, to the choker necklace. I see. So if I just do that quickly, so all to do that, all you need to do is find your sort of a centre point. Yeah. I mean, and this now you can sort of have that sort of shorter if you want, or sort of more. You can have it sort of where you want it really. We'll have that a little bit shorter, a bit shallower there. Shallow, sorry. Yeah. So find the section, the um, the centre point that you want. Get your wrapped point four wire, and just simply wrap that around a couple of times two or three times and then again wrap it onto the band itself okay and you feel that is really really solid and then do exactly the same on the other side i'll just do that quickly so we can finish it off there we go try and keep it as neat as you can okay but again, because it's twist on twist, it really... It um, doesn't really dramatically matter, does it? No, because you really, it does sort of disappear and it's the same colour wire. So wrap around the... Um, and there you go. And what I would do is just spend a little time doing that. Okay. And then snip those off. Snip off all those little bits. Tuck in all your little um, sharp ends. Are you snipping that at the front or at the back? I, I tend to snip it at the back mm. and then just take the pliers, find where there's a point and squish it in. And again, because you've got these lots of little bendy bits, mm -hmm. the wire will easily tuck into those little sections. Fab. So just do that. Just spend some time going around it and see that's smooth now. Mm -hmm. So do that. And then to attach that to the there, all I did was a jump ring. If I can just get a jump ring out quickly. Yes, no problem. And then um, what I did as well then is drop in one of the rutilated cords into each of the top little scrolls. And we did that in the same way that we did um, in the previous project. So a, lo a lot of the techniques in this project sort of cross over to the other, the other one. So they will sit just in there. Great. So what I, the easiest way to do it in this one. We're just popping the gemstones back on your screen. Very quick reminder that it is the solar quartz, this beautiful solar quartz. Honestly, I cannot encourage you enough to take those outside. Get them home today, take them outside, fall in love. Your obsidian, 100, uh, sorry, 90 carats for the obsidian rice beads, which are 11 by six, 12 by six, and 170 carats of the retail drops, 10 by eight. Massive discount on this today. It was over a tenner saving. Because it was £26.85. So £17.95. Stunning deal for you today. Get your hands on it whilst you can. We're just wrapping that beautiful rue tile with the twisted knot. Well, with the untwisted knot. I did it with the untwisted um, onto, onto this. And again, it was just sort of wrapping that on a couple of times just to make sure that it's secure. I'll just do it once more so it doesn't out there we go snip those off and tidy up the ends again do exactly the same on that side so you've got you've got that effect okay. and then it was simply open up one of the jump rings I can see these are from the findings pack the findings is at the bottom of your screen that was a serious discount because you got 20 meters of wire and you got the findings pack. Don't forget, the findings pack was 7.95 by itself. So for an extra pounds, you got a 10 meter reel of 0 0.8. And for an extra pounds, you got a 10 meter reel of 0.4. So it's a stunning deal. That's the one at your bottom of the screen. And that's, that's your piece. You just do another one, uh, Rutilated Quartz on that side. And um, there you go. Oh, that <laughs> is beautiful.
That is so, so pretty. Thank you so much for showing us no that. No problem. It's really gorgeous. And I'm sure you'll all agree, it's such a stunning collection together. If you want to get your hands on this kit and you want to let your own imagination go wild, now is your chance. Get your hands on it for just £17.95. Right, well, I am off, am I? You We're are. giving you time for your challenge, Yay. apparently. I hope yes, that's yeah. all right, Janet. Thank you for showing right. us that. Thank you. I'll be back with Janet in about an hour. You've not got a long chicken. <gasps> quick, quick. You've got a piece made up, though, I've noticed. Yes. Very wow. beautiful. How do you feel about something very, very special now? Uh, this is truly one of the most luxurious things you're likely to see all day. This is our high-end boutique bundle that I'm bringing to you now. The gemstone I'm about to bring you, you may well have seen a little bit of recently, quite a bit. And the reason for that is, at the time, this time, sort of four, five, six months ago, we were able to get our hands on this gemstone. Currently, now, we are unable to. There is an embargo, basically, that we're unable to purchase any more gemstones from um, from this location, from uh, from this mine that we're getting. We're unable to get our hands, not just us, anyone at the moment is unable to. That's causing a lot of things to happen. Number one, there's some colour panic, there's some issues relating to whether or not we're able to get our hands on certain colours of this gemstone anymore, because for some colours, there has been a matter of months that we've been unable to find specific colours, namely the yellows and the greens and some of the oranges as well we've not been able to find for a long time um you may well have seen it quite a bit recently but as hannah oxbury said earlier on she's already now with it being may buying for december that's how early and how long it takes us to get our hands on things so Lovely Hannah Ox is already purchasing for December because from now until December, obviously, you have to secure the right amount of goodies. You have to make sure that with when it comes to gemstones, they've got all the correct, um, you know, things done to them. They've all been treated correctly. They've all had any shaping or faceting done on that needs to happen. They'll need to go across different borders to get, you know, the correct paperwork for them. They need to go and get tested to, you know, guarantee that they are the genuine gemstone so they can all have their authenticity certificate and then they get de delivered to us. That's why it takes such a long stretch of time. And this is genuinely why we've had a little bit of sapphire on for you recently. However, as Hannah Oxbury said, she's buying now for Christmas. I've spoken to Hannah about it probably about two weeks ago now when I was talking about this gemstone, and she said that when she's looking ahead for Christmas, she's finding it impossible to get hands on any sapphire whatsoever. So you may well have seen quite a few strands in the last couple of months of sapphire, but that's purely because six months ago we were able to get it. Present day, we are unable to, which means in six months time, you won't see any, maybe one or two strands if you're lucky, if we've got some left over. This is truly your time to get it, because don't forget also, if we do manage to somehow in six months find ourselves one or two strands, because we've got such few and because it's taken so much work to get it, there could be a possibility of a serious price hike. Not just from us, from everywhere. Please bear that in mind when I show you this beautiful, stunning, stunning trio. I'm going to tell you a few things that we're looking for in Sapphire. Mm. I'm hiding them. We're looking for a couple of things. You're looking for yellows, um, and oranges and greens, as I said earlier, those are some of, don't you try and be sneaky peeky and cameraman burn. No, I've moved them, they're not there. 
You're going to be looking for those three colours because those currently are the rarest, the hardest to get your hands on. If you manage to see even a couple of those, you're doing really, really well for yourself. We're looking for a beautiful clarity. If you've got clarity in there, it doesn't mean they have to be perfectly clear. They have to be totally transparent. It just means that you want a clarity so that the hue itself is symmetrical throughout. And another thing we're looking for is strength of saturation. So you want to make sure that that saturation of the actual colour is not only strong, strong enough to impress and impact, but also it has got that symmetry throughout the whole strand. You haven't got some that are really, really delicate and almost colourless and then some that are really bright. Those are the things you want to check for. And of course, on top of that, the shaping. If you manage to get beautiful facets on this, then it's definitely something you're going to appreciate. Bear all of that in mind when I show you this one strand. This one on our website is £27.95 and that's because there has been discounts. That's because there has been price slashing done. When I tell you I'm going to give you this strand for under 25 later, I hope you've got a smile on your face. Can you see any of those colours I mentioned? Because I most certainly can. I most certainly can. Green. You're going into the oranges now. You've got a little hint of yellow. 27.95 for this. I'm going to do this jam for you under 25 as part of this bundle. You've got Wow, wow. This is that Kath Kidson, that dusky pink, that vintage, beautifully bridal blush of pink that we have in this sapphire. The symmetry of colour is so exceptional. It's just on the cusp of ruby, isn't it? It truly, truly is. You've got that miraculous faceting on here. It truly is mesmerizing. This is a graduated strand. You've got 30 carats worth on this, which is a serious carat weight. And some of these are really large in size for sapphire. Four by two mil on these. 30 carats worth. This strand on our website is 34, 34 pounds and 95 pence. I'm gonna be doing this one under 25 as well. Do you remember the colors I was saying? You add green on the multicolored strand, you had plenty of green, you had plenty of orange. I even said you've got a touch of yellow there because that doesn't matter now. You've got all the yellow you could want in this stunning, rarest of rare, beautiful, canary yellow sapphires. This is by far one of the most sought after and rarest colors of sapphire in the world. Again, the clarity is spectacular. The color and saturation is intense, but completely parallel throughout. You've not got some that are nearly neon and some that are just a kiss of yellow. You've got bright, impactful, alluring, zesty yellow throughout this entire strand. 15 carats worth on this strand. It's an 18 centimeter strand. This is 29.95. So let me get them in price order for you. You've got your multicolored strand. This was 27.95. You've got your yellow, beautiful strand, which was 29 pounds and 95. And then you add your massive 30 carat sapphire in the pink for 34 pounds and 95 pence. Your price point on the web right now is 92 pounds and 85 pence, which I have to admit is so spectacular. For three strands of sapphire, truly beautiful. Look at those, they are paparazzi strands, every single one of them. 
Now, there was a lady called, on Debbie Bournford's course. What was her name? Was it Michelle or Nicole or Natalie? I cannot remember now. But she had three strands of our precious high-end um, necklaces. She had a strand of sapphire, a strand of emerald, and a strand of ruby. And they were all the seriously high-end sapphire pieces. And the high-end emerald, the high-end ruby. She said that she was spending around the 35 to 40 pounds mark per strand, which some of these are, it's 35 pounds, one of these, wasn't it? She got it valued with 925 sterling silver, gold plating, 500 pounds. Your price for all three, I've told you you're gonna be getting them for under 25 pounds each, you know what I mean it, your price today. £62.95. pence. What is that working out per one? £20.90. pence For three strands of genuine sapphire. That is so magnificent. What do you think of that? I would never have a million years imagined that I would be able to buy 18 centimetre strands worth, 30 carats worth of sapphire for 20 quid. Before, I, before yeah. I worked here, before I found this channel. What do you think of that price, Janet? Well, you still find it hard to believe now, even though you sort of um, know, you know, the price, jewellery maker prices, you still find it hard to believe that you can get, and they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? You know, it's not as if they're not the best. They, they are, they're absolutely gorgeous. And together, like that, wrapped together, look fabulous. And you could do that just with a bit of wire, couldn't you? You could do that with some 0.4. Yeah. Beautiful. 39 of these left. Now, once these are gone, they are gone. Truly, truly, truly. You have to believe me on this. Do you know what I always think the sapphire thing is like? The sapphire thing at the moment is like when I first started and I would talk to you about how rare tra tanzanite is and how tricky it is to get your hands on tanzanite and then I'd have three strands in a show. And now when you think of it, how often has that happened recently? How often do you see things like tanzanite now? I think the last time I brought it to you was maybe a month ago, you know, maybe. And the same sort of thing's gonna happen with sapphire. It truly, truly is. In six months, you probably won't see it at all. And genuinely, you'll more than likely have to go somewhere else to buy your genuine sapphire. You know that when it comes to our buying power, it comes to our ethically sourced gemstones and when it comes to the quality over price point you know you're getting a stunning deal fab price becky just spent too much lately but what a deal thank you pauline did you go a bit crazy over the birthday show love it's all right you didn't even i did afterwards i went crazy buying left right and center but what i will say is even though it's, you know, a bank account would scream at me, I'd get my hands on these today. I truly, truly would. £62.95. Every single time I bring you Sapphire, I feel more and more privileged to bring them to you because I know how impossible it is to get your hands on right now. Genuinely, what I will say is there's a queue on the phone lines. What are we looking at on the phone lines? about almost two minute wait on the phone lines, which I know sounds long, but it's 0800 644 It's a free phone number if you're ringing off a landline. It's only two minutes. Do you know what? Put it on speakerphone, and then you can kind of ignore it until you hear someone go, hello, hello, and you go, oh yeah, hi, sorry, I want the sapphire. Um, just keep it on speakerphone, watch with us. It's totally fine because it's gonna be worth the wait. I've got people who aren't checking out their baskets at the moment, so if you are waiting in the queue, more than likely you've got the opportunity to snatch those ones that are still in the baskets, because I've got a fair few people who haven't checked out yet. So it, you, if you're on the phone line now, you will get them. RVGC23 Sapphire Trio, you're getting strands of genuinely stunning sapphire for £20.91, that's it. I've got loads coming up for you today, haven't I? 
I've got the not a bead. I've got the star diopside, and in fact, if you've got these sapphires, you might want to get your hands on that star diopside as well. Only 30 of those left. I've got some beautiful bundles, pre night opal, wood, much, much more. Stay on the phones, have to go to a break because there's so many of you. I'll be back after this. It's going to be worth the wait. See you after this break. has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of products